hi my name is adrian smith and i want to record the history and deterioration of the forgotten wrecks of bikini atoll in early nineteen forty six the united states assembled a fleet of seventy three vessels and anchored them at bikini atoll a small reef in the marshall island chain in the pacific surface ships and submarines representing most types of naval vessels were included in the flotilla Radiation monitors were placed on all of the vessels, and observation ships were moored at a safe distance. The ships included the USS Saratoga, a U.S. aircraft carrier critical in the World War II battles of Wake Island, Guadalcanal, and Iwo Jima. The Japanese battleship Nagato, Admiral Yamamoto's flagship for the Pearl Harbor attack. The German battleship Prinz Eugen, which assisted the Bismarck in sinking the hood in 1941, and the U.S. submarine Apagon, survivor of eight Pacific War patrols. On July 25th, 1946, at 8.35 a.m. Bikini local time, the world changed. The 23 kiloton bomb's effect was devastating, forcing a two million ton column of plutonium irradiated water into the atmosphere and creating a 900-foot tall cloud of radioactive spray that permanently contaminated 64 of the 73 vessels. Many sank or were scuttled on site after they proved impossible to decontaminate. Newspapers and weekly publications around the world carried the story of the Bikini Atoll atomic bomb test on their front pages, describing the awesome sight of the expanding blast and the effects it had on the moored vessels throughout the atoll. Most mentioned the bright future afforded by cracking the atom, and none voiced any concerns about the remnant radioactivity on shore or the fate of the contaminated ships and submarines. Once they sank beneath the waves and disappeared into the depths, no one gave them any further thought. History and the world forgot the ships and submarines of Bikini Atoll. We want to record these majestic vessels on video and share them with the world in a documentary that brings them to life and gives them their proper place in history. I've been a scuba diver and videographer for almost 25 years, and I've been lucky enough to dive and document shipwrecks in many parts of the world. My wreck diving experience has taken me decades to accumulate, and I still find myself fascinated with the stories wrecks can tell us. The Bikini Atoll wrecks are no exception. The Baker bomb blast was worldwide news in 1946, but today there are only two lasting remnants of its impact on the global consciousness. The style of swimsuit named for the atoll and the name of SpongeBob SquarePants residence, Bikini Bottom, which in the cartoon is at the bottom of Bikini Atoll. The ships themselves are concrete evidence of the dawn of the atomic age, and their histories deserve to be shared with the world rather than corroding underwater. In the past five years, their deterioration has accelerated, and unless they are documented, their stories will soon disappear. Please help us to accomplish this and save this important chapter of history before it's too late.